everyone welcome back to a new video and in today's video we are going to discuss a problem that came as a four marker in the recent math kangaroo paper for grades 7 and 8. So let's see our very first four marker and the question is really simple okay but if we are going to read it in a unappropriate manner or we will miss few things what they have given in the question, it can become little tricky. Okay, so let's focus on each and everything what they have provided in the question. Yeah, so the question is Carolina baked a cake and cut it into 10 equal pieces. Okay, so in a cake, there are 10 equal pieces. That means if this is a cake, so we will have how many equal pieces? 10 equal pieces. Okay. And then there will be one more. Let's say this one. Okay. So 10 equal pieces are there. This is a rough drawing of it. She ate one of the piece. Now out of which she is, she has already eaten one of the piece. Okay. So the remaining pieces, which will be nine, right? Nine pieces she arranged evenly. Okay. She ate one of the piece and then arranged the remaining pieces evenly as shown correct so there are nine pieces in total what is the measure of the angle between two adjacent pieces? now out of 10 piece if we have eaten one piece right so that gap will be empty correct that much space will be empty to cover that what carolina did she arranged the pieces in this manner so that between any two adjacent pieces there is a very tiny little gap like this right but this gap is actually nothing, the space of the one piece which she has eaten, right? Though it is very minimal, but if we are going to add up the entire space, these tiny, tiny spaces, so it will add up to the actual space of this one piece which Carolina has eaten, right? Now, the main question is, what is the measure of the angle between any two adjacent pieces okay so if i'm going to zoom in in this picture we need to find out this gap okay so we know if there were 10 equal pieces it will make a complete one whole circle correct because it was the cake we split the cake into 10 pieces right so it was evenly cut it and there were 10 pieces and we also know that any circle will have the angle of 360 degrees, right? Now, 360 degrees is the complete one whole angle, which we are dividing into 10 pieces, right? We are dividing in, into 10 equal pieces, right? Now, what we can do over here is we can simply do 360 divided by 10. That means each piece will have the angle of 36 degrees. We can cross out this zero with this zero. Answer is 36, right? That means from here what we got that every piece is the of the angle 36 degrees, right? Now let's assume one of the piece Carolina has eaten, right? So the angle of 36 degrees, right? She has eaten one of the piece, so that specific piece will also have the angle of 36 degrees. Now, that gap, what she has eaten, that specific gap has been divided into how many tiny little gaps? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Correct. So, that single piece, the gap what that single piece was taking, it has been now split it into nine parts. Correct. So that means one adjacent, one gap between any two adjacent pieces is going to be of the size 36 divided by nine. Because it has been divided into nine parts, right? So 36 divided by nine is four degrees. Correct. It will be four decrease that means this tiny little gap is of four degrees now carolina is very smart 
no one should know that she has eaten that specific piece right so she kept all the nine pieces in such a manner that there is very tiny little gap between any two edges and piece right and that specific gap is of four degrees we got the answer that is option b I hoped you enjoyed watching this video and it was a pretty easy question. Step number one, we know that the entire circle will be of 360 degrees. We split it in, into 10 pieces. That means each piece will be of 36 degrees and that 36, that one piece has been now split it into nine parts, right? So 36 divided by nine is four degrees. That is how we got the answer, okay? So we are done with this question. In the next video, we are going to see the next problem. That is problem 12 that came in Math Kangaroo. And before that, if you haven't joined our WhatsApp community, so the link is in the description box below and you will also see the QR code. You can scan it or you can click on the link in the description box and you can join our community for daily updates and resources. And I will be look, uh, seeing you soon in the next video. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.